rising wind. And water as high as the walls of Jerusalem shall cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. That's the $10 bill. Now, the next part of that prophecy was, And behold, the great wall which holds back the abundance of the rivers shall burst forth, bringing the hand of the oppressor against you, for I have seen it. Now, the great wall that holds back the abundance of rivers, that's called a dam. So let me show you the $50 bills first. Let me show you how they've changed. I'm going to put this in front. Here's the old $50 bill. It has a line around the oval again. That line's been taken off the new 50 right here. The new 50 has clouds on it now, and the old 50 didn't have any clouds. Let me show you why. I'm going to take this and put it over here. Now I'm going to make a pyramid out of both bills. Don't forget, the pyramids are your enemy. And wait till you see where that goes. Okay, so here's a pyramid out of each of the bills. I'm going to turn the pyramids upside down now. And now I'm going to put that image here and this image here. Now, a great wall which holds back the abundance of the rivers, that's a, that's a dam. It holds back a lake. So here's the dam. Here's the dam wall right here. And then here's the water containment across the top made by that line that goes around the oval on the back of the old 50. At the bottom here is the spillway. Now, if you go from here to here on the new 50, because they took the line off, the water containment is now missing. There's no longer any water containment here. And the clouds make the movement of water over the dam. The sky is red and there's little yellow dots which represent contamination. So behold, the great wall which holds back the abundance of the rivers shall burst forth, bringing the hand of the oppressor against you, for I have seen it. For mighty is your enemy that has risen from within your own borders. Now, before we start this next point, I got to set up some stuff for you guys to see who your enemy is, because recognizing your enemy is going to be the whole battle here. Satan's greatest trick I've heard and I believe it's true, is getting the world to believe he doesn't exist. I'm going to expose the darkness. The Lord is going to use me to expose it, and you're going to get to see your enemy, and it's going to be just amazing when you see it. Okay. All right. Goodness gracious, Lord. Oh, Lord. God, I can't believe it. This is really it. Uh, uh, I think now okay what I'm gonna show you now is I'm gonna start showing you um, just some more images and I'm gonna start revealing some things to you um, We've looked at the, the bills and we can obviously see that there's a problem with the U.S. currency, that there's a lot of images of bombings on our buildings and there's no way that those bombings could be there and have it be coincidence. There's no way. It's impossible. So let me start showing you some images and we're going to start not with this one up here, but we're going to start with this one right here. And you're going to start seeing a lot of sheep and I'm going to point out the sheep to you. This is the sheep's eye. There's a teardrop coming out of his eye. Here's his ear. Obviously, this is the top of his head coming to his nose. His tongue sticking out and going down his neck right here. Okay, that's an image of a sheep. Now, I'm going to show you another image of a sheep. And let me put this one right here. And I'm trying to cover up some stuff. This is another image of a sheep. This is the top of the sheep's head coming down to its ear and then coming down towards its other ear. This is coming down the forehead. There is an eye right there, and there's the other eye looking at you. Coming down its face to its cheeks right here. There's its nostrils, and there's its tongue sticking out. This represents the fur around the outside of the sheep. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab one more image of the sheep to show you. And then, sorry I didn't have it queued up and ready to go, but... I'm going to grab one more image of a sheep to show you right here. And here's, here's another image of a sheep. And then we'll start putting the puzzle together. Here's another image of a sheep. And I'm going to grab a pointer real quick while Dan's videotaking that. 
and then I'm going to use this instead of my finger. Okay, here's an image of a sheep. Here's the sheep's eye. There's his other eye coming down his face to his nostril and his nostril. And there's his mouth right there. And these are his ears going out this way. And this represents the sheep's fur. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start showing you a couple more images that pertain to this particular sheep. Here's an image of a devil, okay, and here's the devil's eye, and here's his other eye right here, and this is his nose, and this is his mouth, and this is his horn, and his horn, and he has wings right here, like this. Now I'm going to pick this same devil up and set him right here on the sheet. So here's the devil's eye, eye, nose, mouth, his horns, and he's got these wings, and his wings are actually the, the ears of the sheep. Okay, now we're going to go back to the other sheep. I'm going to pull this other one back. I'm just going to show you what these all have in common, which is really just fascinating. One, but I'm going to rotate this sheep real quick, and I'm going to show you one more image. Here's an, half, of, half an image of the devil smiling at you. It's once again a devil mixed with the sheep. There's the devil's horn. This is his forehead. There's his eye coming down his cheek, and his nose would be here. And here's his mouth smiling. Now I'm going to cover up the other half, and this is an image of a sheep that's like part human. There's the sheep's eye, and there's his ear. It's like a human looking sheep. There's his mouth smiling. Now, it's a devil superimposed on a sheep. Well, you just saw another devil superimposed on a sheep. Now, Isaiah the prophet said, Those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know what they are doing, they turn everything upside down. I'm going to show you the same sheep again. Now here's the sheep's eye, the nose, the tongue sticking out, the teardrop, and the ear. Now, I'm going to turn it upside down. And now you're looking at the face of the queen in the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. And now, while you're looking at it, I'm going to just rotate it so you can see that it's a sheep with its tongue sticking out. And there it is. We are the sheep. And that represents who we are. Now, I was born and raised Catholic. I don't have anything against people that are Catholics. Um, the Catholic Church, I've been called to prophesy against the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is the prostitute that sits on many waters mentioned in the book of Revelations. Let me show you. Once again, here's an image of a sheep with its tongue sticking out. And as I rotate this to right side up, it's an image of the Virgin. And this, this image of the Virgin is the same thing as a hieroglyph that's 1,300 years before Christ. The artist that did this did the exact same thing as that hieroglyph. And it's a very common occurrence. I found this again and again in images of the Virgin. Now we're going to go back to the other sheep. Here's the other sheep. And it's eye, it's eye, it's nostrils, it's mouth, it's ears. And 